Well before they're born, parents-to-be worry and wonder if their child will be healthy. That's why prenatal appointments like this one at the end of my first trimester are so important. Oh, heart rate's about 157, that's great. As word of mouth spreads, more patients at the Perinatal Center of Oklahoma are requesting the cell-free DNA test. Done as early as nine or 10 weeks, it looks at small amounts of actual fetal DNA in mom's blood. Relax your arm for me. It's a non-invasive screening test that can detect certain genetic disorders in certain high-risk populations. The four companies aggressively fighting for their slice in the game, Panorama, Materna T21, Harmony, and Verify. All of them boasting the ability to detect certain genetic disorders like Down syndrome with extremely high accuracy. And the added bonus of some tests, you find out the baby's gender early. The new test offers the advantage in this high-risk group of having the highest detection rate with the lowest false positive, and that's what people are excited about. Just the skull, soft spot. Dr. Charles Morabli says right now the tests are just recommended to high-risk patients, women 35 and older, or when other tests or ultrasounds show cause for concern. This is looking into baby's brain. But with more studies underway, the tests could become standard for all pregnant women as early as next year. It very, very well may happen. And that raises some issues. Dr. Morabli warns the tests carry a higher false positive positive rate in pregnancies that aren't high risk. And some doctors might not know how to properly interpret the results, leaving patients with more questions and uncertainty. Some argue the tests will encourage more abortions of babies with Down syndrome. It's still very important that people undergo genetic counseling. Um, preferably pre-test genetic counseling where they can understand what all the different testing alternatives are, what the test means. The new tests don't replace amniocentesis or CVS, which carry a risk of miscarriage, but they do offer new options to parents-to-be and the chance to learn earlier than ever before about their baby's health. So they have the opportunity to make decisions about their pregnancy, but also to be prepared.